Africa's politics have fallen into the hands of elites, as, as the Nigerians would call them. These are a class of people who are pure business politicians, and business and politics go together in Africa. You cannot stand as a poor man. I came across a wonderful example the other day from Kenya, um, where a, a man who, just, who cycled around on a bicycle was trying to get himself elected, and the people just laughed at him, and they say, you've only got a bicycle. What can you do for us? We need a big man with a big car with money. There, you know, that's the politician we need to... to. So there's this mentality, um, which I think has allowed a very small group of people to take over those countries politically, but also economically. And that's why you have something like, I think the World Bank says, between 60 and 70 percent of Africa's capital shifted out of the continent. It's in banks in Europe um, and, uh, and Asia and maybe America as well. But uh, these people just do what the colonialists did, which was suck the wealth out and shift it overseas. And until that changes, that is, until there's a, a, a new generation or even a revolution that actually takes Africa, takes power back to African people, I think those problems, that lack of development will 